some solution companies act all the information regarding the theory the requirements of the companies act per section 75 are included and then the proving of the non-compliance of these requirements is then addressed. In terms of the standard of conduct, the theory is there and then the non-compliance. The liability of directors, the theory and then the non-compliance. In terms of King, the theory about the chairman, the lead and the composition of the board are addressed first and then the application to show the non-compliance. Director's interest is addressed, theory and then application, as well as director's conduct from a king perspective. Compliance with laws and regulations then, theory from a king perspective and then proving it's the non-compliance with the Companies Act that brings that section relevant. In terms of the CPC, we've got a CASA in business. And so then we can pick up, there's a conflict of interest. The same interest that was not disclosed has brought about a conflict of interest from a CPC perspective. Okay, your threats to the fundamental principles are addressed. The significance and then safeguards, applying that conceptual framework at all times. Responding to the non-compliance with laws, Section 270, it's just addressed here because there's non-compliance with laws and a CASA should be complying. In terms of the APA, question two, we've got to look at, is there a reportable irregularity? And we go about proving it here. An unlawful act or omission, so you've got your theory applied your theory applied, your theory applied. Okay, and then what is the requirements there? It's going to be included in the director's or the auditor's report because you cannot give an unqualified opinion if there is a reportable irregularity. Two concerns, so a mark for once again proving CASA must adhere to part one and two of the CPC and then preparation of and presentation of financial information, the concern, and then discussing the threats to the fundamental principles, the pressure to breach, and then discussing the threats to the fundamental principles. Guys, in addition here, you could have brought in responding to non-compliance section 260, but we already addressed it above there. The CASA is the one who is non-complying. So he's not about to now go and address the matter and discuss it you know, with more senior people because he is the one. Um, this solution I've taken straight out of RTC, so this is what would be expected of you at an RTC level. Super.